Okay, so for today's setup guide, we are looking at Triforce Emulator. So in the past, many of you have asked how to set this up as a standalone, and I've gone out my way to find you the very, very easiest way of playing F-Zero AX as well as Mario Kart GP. So in this setup guide, I'm gonna be showing you everything. We're gonna look at video settings, we're gonna look at widescreen hacks, we're gonna look at everything. And these two games in particular, F-Zero and Mario Kart GP, are the best of Triforce emulation. So check this one out. Okay, before I start today's easiest possible way to get you up and running with Triforce and F-Zero in Mario Kart GP, if you like today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like that means you'll get notified every time I release a setup guide and it also helps my channel out a lot. So what we're looking at today is Triforce. Now if you're into Triforce arcade games and you've looked at setting this up yourself, you'll be overwhelmed with loads of different codes to add to your games, edit your game files and this and that. Now I'm going to tell you the easiest way to get two particular games up and running which is of course Mario Kart GP and F-Zero is a very easy way. So what we're going to do, and I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch, is we're going to download RetroBat Frontend. Now this is absolutely free. If we just go to Downloads RetroBat, download the latest version, version 6. Let me just remind you, if you're new to my channel, I have over 130 different RetroBat video guides. That's not to say I'm a RetroBat channel because I'm not. I'm a general emulation channel. So this is going to take us to itch.io. We're going to download RetroBat. And we're going to go to no thanks, just take you to the downloads. And we are going to download the latest version and version 6 released 22 days ago. And if you're interested in this and you don't know what Retrobat is, do check out my playlist. I've done a complete setup guide of version 6 recently. So we're going to download the stable Windows 64 version of this. And while that's downloading, two of my Triforce games are in here. We've got F-Zero AX. This is Revision D I'm using and it works fine. Now the other revisions you'll find, they also work fine. But for me, I'm just using Revision D for this. And of course it's an ISO file extension. And we've also got Mario Kart Arcade GP USA. And again, this one works absolutely fine for this. Okie doke, so once we've downloaded RetroBat, we're just going to quickly install this. Let me just remind you that once we finish doing what we're doing, if you don't want to be using RetroBat, you can just delete it, but I'll take you through that as we go on. So Windows protected your PC, more info, run anyway. And let's just quickly set this up, so OK. And I set the agreement, next. And we're just going to install this to default C drive, and that's going to create us a folder called RetroBat. If we go next, and we're also going to want to create a desktop shortcut for this. Next, and install. If you get any pop-ups on the screen, just press yes. Okay, so we finished completing the setup, so what we're going to do is just go to finish. Now, I'm going to just quickly delete this setup file because I don't want to get confused between the main file to open up the program and the setup. So let's just delete this one. Next thing, what we need to do is right click on that RetroBat shortcut, left click on Open File Location. And if we go into the ROM folder just here, we're going to just scroll down and we're going to find a folder here called Triforce. And here's Triforce. And if I just get my games and I drag them inside of that folder, so F-Zero AX, Mario Kart Arcade GP, okie dokes. Next thing we need to do then is actually open up RetroBat. Okay, so this is RetroBat. What we're going to do is just use controller, I'm using Google Stadia controller, and just go over to where it says RetroBat. If you press A on that, what we're going to do from here is look for the emulator itself. So we're going to go down to Dolphin WX, it says Triforce next to it. If I press A on my controller, next thing you're going to see is emulator Dolphin Triforce is not installed. Install now. Just press yes on this.
Okay, emulator is missing, that's okay. And if we come out of there, and what I'm gonna do is press B on my controller to come out of this menu. Next thing I'm gonna do is just go into Triforce because I've just put some games into a folder for RetroVac. And what we're gonna do from here is just open up a game. So if I press A on my controller to open Mario Kart, Okay, so what I've done then is just opened up Mario Kart and I'll press escape on my keyboard just to exit out. Now, if I exit out of this by pressing B on my controller and I'll press start on my controller to come into the main menu, if I just scroll down to... And this is where the magic happens. So, of course, if you're interested in Retrobat, then you've clearly got Retrobat set up with Triforce. But if you don't want Retrobat, we can actually use this now as pretty much a standalone emulator so rather than searching for hours and hours finding which version of dolphin supports triforce games it's a mess uh, it really is a mess what what we need to do is right click on the retro bat shortcut again open file location now in here this time you're going to find an emulators folder if we go in there we're going to find dolphin triforce what i'm going to do We've just downloaded this using Retrobat. So what I'm gonna do on my desktop, if I right click, new folder, I'm gonna call this Triforce Emulator. Cool beans. Okay then, next thing I'm gonna do is highlight everything in the Retrobat Emulators Dolphin Triforce folder. If I right click, I'm gonna just copy all this. And if I go into Triforce Emulator folder, which I've just created, right click paste now we've got the contents that we just copied from retrobat we no longer need to look for which emulator works with what in particular these two games f-zero and mario kart now at this point if you want to delete retrobat you can get rid of it just delete it off your system because we've got the emulator and all the files what this has come with so in a way we've kind of used and abused retrobat to get Triforce working, which many of you struggle with. So if we now go into that Triforce emulator folder, we pretty much now got a standalone version of it. Now what I need to do then is open up Dolphin and here's my two games. Now, if you don't see your two games or whichever games, we're gonna go to open and then you can just link this to where your Triforce games are. So it really is as simple now as just open up a game Now, if this is your first time and you're using the same revision of F-Zero as me, we just need to go through these settings just here. So for handle up, you can just use your controller to map this out virtually. see that run absolutely perfectly and it looks stunning as well so next up we got Mario Kart RKGP Mario
as we can see, it runs perfectly, but the issue is with this one is that it's going from aspect ratios 4 by 3 to 16 by 9 So what we're going to do is just go back to graphics and from here, we're going to just go down to aspect ratio and I'm going to force this one to say 16 by 9 and if I go to close and open again Cool, so should your aspect ratio switch between 4x3 and 16x9, that's exactly how you do it. Now we can also play around with video settings, so if we go to graphics, just make sure that adapter your GPU was selected for this, and largely Vulkan for backend works fine with these as you can see. Now if we go to enhancements, internal resolution, we can bump this up to say 4K, let's just bump this up to 1440p for now. I'm also going to apply anti-aliasing, so of course anti-aliasing takes away jagged edges. If I just put this in two times MSAA for now. And I'm also going to put texture filtering on. So of course texture filtering is going to apply definition to textures within the game. It's going to bring textures to life. So let's just be very modest and use the first one for this, two times anastrophic. I'm going to go to close for now and open it back up. <laughs> So the game's beginning to look nice, but you might not be happy with that 16 by 9 ratio. So again, just go to graphics. I'm going to just crank up some of these enhancement sets. So I'm going to put internal resolution up to 4K. And we're just going to do this in increments just to get the perfect settings. So if I open up the game again. see that perfect so aspect ratio might not be to your taste so just experiment with setting the aspect ratios and this we can see there it did slightly start lagging so that just tells us that internal resolution needs to be turned down so if we actually go back to graphics again we can put widescreen hack on this this time let's open up f0x and before i do this i'm actually going to go to internal resolution and just put this one down to say 1080p for this close F0. And there we go, F0 AX with the widescreen hack applied. Slightly laggy there, but that's just down to my graphic settings. So we're also going to try Mario Kart Arcade GP now with that widescreen hack enabled. Just remember, graphics, widescreen hack needs to be checked. If we go down the clues, Mario Kart Arcade GP. <laughs> And 
that's it for setting up Triforce very easily today. So like I said, if you want to improve the graphics settings, then just do modest settings one at a time from internal resolution to anti-aliasing and so on until we find that balance where your games are actually running at a good speed. So anyways, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. For those of you who's interested in Retrobat, check out my entire playlist for Retrobat and you'll find whatever you want there. I've literally done over 130 setup guides at this point. And also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.